Hello, this is Corey the Keyblade Wielder, and we're back for another commentary. Disney Villains War Round 14. So, yeah, we're getting close to the final part. So, I had to do all the commentaries on there because I want to get them over with. Because I want to go to part two, and I'm sure there's questions people want to know. And also, this is also for the future generations of people who want to make their own wars. So, I'm going to use these as, in this series, as an example for that. But actually, after round 15, I'll go back to Worst Heroes and Villains War ever, and then one commentary on one particular war, so let's continue. Okay, first fight, uh, Gantu versus Long John Silver. Gantu has infiltrated a, uh, the Space Pirates, uh, ship, just to, like, stop them from taking over the planet, or... Oh, he tries to kill the pirate captain. Oh, don't kill Silver. I think he needs some character development. You know, a redemption. Yeah, Silver has enough pirates to last the fight for him. And it looks like Gantu has managed to fight them all off. Timber! Or... <laughs> <clears throat> and looks like Silver is to make an escape. Hmm. It's like blocked. Oh well. I guess it's a tie. Next fight, uh, Macbeth versus Dr. Hamsterville. Yeah, yeah, after Hamsterville escaped from his, uh, first match with Macbeth, he is hiding somewhere on the mountains, and he's... So the Steel Clan are looking, or searching for him until they're ambushed by these... The Cuddle Buddy. Wait, is DNA me behind this? So Macbeth has uh, found his lair, and it turns out he's the one who's making all the mutant army for Zerg. I would have thought he'd get help from DNA me, cause yeah. As I explained in the, my previous commentary on Disney versus non-Disney villains. It, she made these mutant characters known as the, the Cuddle Buddies, you know, like, it's like a Care Bears ripoff. Well, then Macbeth has managed to shut the whole thing down, and Macbeth wins, and does that mean Dr. Hamsterville is dead? Hmm. Next fight, the forces of Zerg versus the forces of Xanatos. Zerg and his forces have arrived to... Yeah, start attacking on New York as, well, since they are invading Earth. <clears throat> so Xanatos and his forces have to fight them off still. Yeah, the, it's a gun showdown. <laughs> so they're all, you know, it's the, they're hard in the war, so they had to use guns. Somehow she has the power to turn anyone to crystals, and this is happening to Rorg. Hmm. Leroy versus the Steel Clan. The Mutant Clone Army or something. Those are things that are getting uh, intense now. And now Xanatos has to do something. Next fight. Alameda Slim versus Nuka. Yeah, after Slim has to escape from, you know, Fasilie, <clears throat> he goes to Africa. Oh, I guess he's gonna do poach him. Shouldn't he be cattle rustling instead? Hmm. But Nuka wants to challenge him so he can do it for his mom. 
But the yodeling, I guess this does not affect Nuka. <laughs> I like his Flynn, like, wait, why aren't you hypnotized? <clears throat> I mean, I like, I like Flynn's reaction, like, wait, why aren't you hypnotized? Whoa! It's like Flynn just knocked the bog on him. Man, I always feel sorry for Nuka if he had to die. And next fight, Frollo versus uh, Sarush. Okay, despite that I hate this villain, and I hate the Hunchback of Notre Dame too, that just completely destroyed the first film. I'll admit this fight does make sense that they're both Hunchback villains. <coughs> Looks like Frollo has noticed he's using magic. And turns out Sarush is the leader of the gypsies who are hiding in the Court of Miracle, but what happened to Clobin? Okay, even though I hate him, it is interesting, but I wish him... Yeah, I doubt I there's gonna be a, a gypsy villain instead, but... I kinda wish there was one that Disney would made. But I can understand you're using So Rouge, who was a horrible villain. Not really good. But he's just a circus performer. Okay. I will admit <clears throat> that History Bob did point out that. Yeah, I mean. If you watch this Dodger Critics Disney summer review of The Hunchback of the. Damn it! Didn't look like the Gypsies did stole some stuff. I mean, there are Gypsies who can be con men and thieves, and Frollo is a corrupted judge. And this fight does make sense because it kind of shows that life is not black and white, good and evil. It's all shades of gray. <clears throat> And I'm glad Frollo wins. Now Saruch is in going to the Palace of Justice. Next fight. Hades and Shen Yu versus Jafar. <coughs> <coughs> Got a little tickle in my throat. We see Jafar still ruling Agrabah until he gets ambushed by Shen Yu. I <laughs> like him. He's like, boo. And he roasts his birdie. Oh, Jafar's gonna be a cobra, yep. It's like, oh crap. I mean, wouldn't you all react the same way if you saw someone turn into a giant cobra in front of you? And now he's a genie. Well, I know in one of the things that genies can't kill anyone. Oh, just put them into the firework. And now it's Hades' turn. Okay, I do like how they're, they're rivals, even though in the, that stupid Hercules show, they did team up. But here we get to see them as rivals. Whoa, and Hades dropped the, lo the lamp into the lava. Oh yeah, just like in Return of Jafar, he's gonna die. Destroy the lamp, you destroy Jafar. And now for the epilogue. Uh, this is an epic scene. Just like in the, in round 13 of, I mean, round, I think it was round 12 of Disney vs. Don Disney Villains. That it had. Dr. Fasolier and Narissa have awakened Chernabog. And now he's gonna bring all hell on earth. 
the army of the undead, Pete Spirit, and Scar's ghost. And a T-Rex. And while this is going on, Zerg and his forces are still invading Earth. Xanathus is still trying to save Earth. And Zira and the Outlanders are going to get revenge on Alameda Slim. The Queen of Hearts decides to go to war. Even Eric Hellstrom. Hold on. Yeah, basically this whole thing is the villains are going to have a final match between each other. And now the ma final match will be... I mean, we'll soon be seeing the final match between Dr. Festalier and Hades. And Tournament will be bring hell. Now this is gonna get really epic.